you guys celebrating the title there? Or? I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, hey, you know, hey, going on? players, uh, you know, players coach, I guess, you know, so. Um, I didn't expect that, and uh, you know, I, I, I was assuming that we were going to have to win on Saturday too. But uh, you know, hey, if, if the guys want to celebrate it, they earned it. You know, I mean, we will definitely, you know, it'll test our maturity for Saturday. But you know, I think we got a mature group with some winners, so you know, I, I expect them to come out and, and respond on Saturday. Did you tell them the Washington State score? Or did they Somebody must have. I, I, nobody told me until the uh, literally right before the buzzer went off. I think my whole staff is probably looking on their Apple Watches or whatever they do now. And uh, obviously, you guys know I'm not a watch guy, so I had no idea. So. You didn't want to, or did, you didn't want to know, probably, did you? Or did I mean, you I mean, listen, it's not going to impact how I'm coaching, but I mean, I I was was here to win today. I wasn't worried about uh, Washington State. Well, how about the way it went for you guys? Just putting them away like you did, especially after. It was good. The, I mean, it was good. It was a, it was a good effort. I mean, I you know they came out and you know it was an even game for a while, and our guys settled in and. And played good team basketball, and I thought we were able to make a really good run at the end of the uh, at the end of the uh, first half there to kind of get some separation. And that's crucial. That's something we talk about. That's something we work on. You know, when you get that six eight point lead, can you make that next run? Yeah. And our guy, and, and, you, and you can't always. It doesn't always happen. But they did. They did today. So um, you know that that gave us a nice lead going into halftime. And then we came out and we started the second half pretty good. Yeah, you, you guys didn't miss a beat coming out of halftime in terms of yeah. building well, that we, score we, we right talked out. about that. You know, I think early in the year, I mean, I don't have all the analytics or stats in front of me or burning my head, but I think you know, in some of our, our higher level games, I think we were 0 and 8 in the first four minutes of the second half. You know, and, I, and I'm not a coach that I don't break it down into rounds like some people do, which is smart. But you know, I, I'm always trying to look at the whole picture and then possession by possession underneath that. But um, but yeah, we, we need to start out halves good. It's really important, and and uh, our guys did that today. I remember you said the first game that you let them, you, you kind of tweaked the defense to such where they were able to, to get some really good looks from free, and then you changed things. Was it different schematically or? I mean, we played, we, we, we the, played the, the normal middle. defense today. Okay. I mean, I think we're a good defensive team, you know, and, and maybe you know there are some points of the year we're trying to get too tricky or too scout heavy, and uh, you know I think we we literally did. Our normal defense today. We didn't do anything you know, different. So what uh, you know, and, and this the, the way you did it too. Just again with a lot of balance. You had KJ coming off the bench. Just uh, you know, was that any of that kind of? Well, you know, we're getting deeper into the season, and so we have vets. We have you know, we have our four vets, and you know, it's obvious who they are. And those guys have been through the wars, and, and they're winners. And we have this group of young guys that are really talented. So you know, we've really try to be, you know, conscientious this last, you know, two weeks of building up these younger guys and, and getting them ready for, you know, the experience that's coming. And and they're awesome, high character guys. And, you know, sometimes when you're players six, seven, and eight on a program like this, it's hard because you think next year will be my turn. Right. But but we, we don't need next year. We need now. And and those guys are really good players. And they're really talented. And they've been through a whole season, a bunch of high-level games. They know what, what we want to do, what we don't want to do. So... I asked them all to, to step it up a little bit, and, um, and and luckily they responded. KJ had a pretty good game against UCLA and Mikhail. Too. He did. He, you know, I talked to KJ about, about that this or... week. No, I mean, I just talked to him about it this week. I said, KJ, you know, you know, we were talking about the seasons and how they go, and, and I said that, you know, UCLA in the second half, we couldn't get you off the floor. I mean, you're, you're super valuable, and, you know, some days it's going to be your day, some days it's not, but but that's the guy you are, and when you're on the court, make sure you play like that, and, and don't worry about anything else. And and you know KJ's a really good player. I mean, and I, I, I honestly think he's just scratching the surface. Yeah. Did you ever see like a, a freshman wall with him this year? Or has he been pretty consistent? No, that kid yeah. has no wall. He's, yeah. I mean, the, from the first day he stepped on campus, he's played with tremendous effort till now. So yeah. he's been awesome. Um, it kind of was like close for uh, the starting of the game, and then when Caleb really started taking off, that's when you guys started to get separation. And it feels like it happened so quickly with Caleb just being able to get hot. Um, how is he able to do that, and what well, is it like to see? Just I see mean, him the, do the, it? the biggest thing that I felt the key was we finally got the bonus, mm -hmm. and you know, which is you know hard. You see, there's a really good defensive team. Now you get in the bonus in the physical game, and you know, you get a few calls, those turn into free throws, and and you know, I think that's kind of what part of what got Caleb going, and he makes a shot or two. So, um, you know, C Caleb showed some real patience today. I mean, you know, when, you, when you're 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 one of the better players in the league, have a chance to be the league MVP. And, um, you know, you come out the first year, you're, you're, you're in L.A. You know, we talk a lot about that. You're in L.A., but it's, it's us. It's our, our team's, uh, you know, adventure. It's not an individual, you know, it's a, not a me adventure. 
And, uh, and so for him to settle into the game the way he did and still play the way, you know, not start good or get numbers early and then, you know, find a way to get good numbers, is a, it's, it's a, a huge shot of maturity for him. He's a, he's a heck of a player and he's a winner. Yeah, were you concerned at all? That, like, even the way he's been, that, you know, you might think he's on the I'm race. I'm never for, concerned about Ken. Well, just, ever. you know, that player of the year thing entering this week that he might be looking no, for a I shot. Mean, he, he, he's you know, the mature yeah. guy. This is a guy who's, you know, been had the highest of the highs in college basketball and the lowest of yeah. the lows. And, and, you know, his experience is invaluable to us, and he's an amazing, high-character guy that lets us coach him hard every day, and we're honest with him every day. And, uh, you know, I love him, and I'm lucky to have him. Do you think he is? With you guys wrapping this up, do you think he's player of the year for sure? I, I mean, I don't think there's any doubt. You know, yeah. there's no doubt in my mind, you know, he's the player of the year. But, you know, I, I'm more interested. I'm not interested in player of the year, right. coach of the year. I'm interested in team of the year. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what drives us. It's, it's, it's ours, us, together. I mean, those are words we use all the time in our program. You mentioned so, looking, oh, sorry. Good. Uh, you mentioned look, not, not looking forward or trying to get ready for Saturday. You have one more regular season games left. So how do you um, like not let the celebration leak into Saturday and kind of have a little slump and be able to focus and get ready for the Pac-12? I mean, there, there, there is no slump. We got to come out and play. It, it's it's, it's going to be, you know, it's going to test your maturity, your test your uh, competitive nature. And, uh, and, you know, I think our guys are built for it. But again, you got to come out Saturday and do it. I mean, that, that's what it comes down to. We could talk all about this or that and speculate. But at the end of the day, those guys in the locker room are going to decide how they're going to come out and play. Because this is a segue to my question. What do, you, what do you take from this game? How do you build on it? We're building. We literally build, you know, is a word we use every day. And, and we're building. We're, we're, we're continuing to build and build on experiences and <clears> – <throat> You know, it could be an execution thing. It could be a set. It could be, you know, defensive coverage. But but we're we're in a build mode. You know, teams that that play well deep into the season and you know into the postseason get better week by week. And and we want to be one of those teams. Was the like how important do you think at this point now that you've got this? You know, maybe you need to win this game to be a number one NCAA tournament seed. Is that something that can drive? I, I'm not worried about the NCAA tournament. tournament. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll cross that. Bridge and we come, and you know, and, and, and I'm not worried about location. I mean, this is the deal. Our guys are playing great basketball wherever they go. So you send us wherever, we're good. Yeah, no, I just mean as far as being the number one seed and potentially getting. I mean, for, for a one easier. seed, we're a one seed. For a two seed, we're a two seed. For a three seed, we're a three seed. We're going to play another team that's good, yeah. that, that qualified for the NCAA tournament, we got to play. But don't get me off topic. You know that. We got SC Saturday. And then we're going to the Pac-12 tournament, and I don't know who we play yet. So we're going to lock in on those two things and continue to build. Last so speaking, question. Well, speaking of SC, I was wondering, what, uh, do you figure they'll be a lot different than the team? Well, of course they're going to be a lot different. They have two NBA-level guards that didn't play last game right. that are going to play this game. But you know what? Those are the challenge we want. And so, so you know, we're excited, and, and I'm sure it'll be a great, lively atmosphere. And, uh, and let's see what we got. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thanks.